was in existence probably was formed about a million and a half years ago. And uh, when it formed, it was probably much deeper than it is today. Over the past uh, tens of thousands of years, it's gradually filling up. Now it's filled with water. And um, this is a large sinkhole that uh, can act as a trap. And sinkholes uh, have acted as traps throughout uh, geologic time, uh, sometimes uh, trapping animals and uh, then preserving their bones in the sediments that accumulate in the bottom of the sinkhole. And such is probably the case here. This could have well acted as a trap during the ice age for mammoths or mastodons and possibly um, down the bottom of that in the sediments below this uh, water that is now filling the sinkhole, uh, there may be bones of ice age animals. During the Pleistocene epoch, when this sinkhole formed, uh, it was probably quite a bit deeper than it is now, and it's been filling up with sediment. And the sediment uh, that uh, accumulates can bury or uh, essentially preserve uh, animals that might fall into such a sinkhole. Uh, the sinkholes like this have acted as traps throughout much of geologic time and uh, have A uh, hole that's opened up recently at the bottom of uh, Slaughter Sink. A swallow hole. A recent collapse in part of the sinkhole. Nice ripple mark slab of ruby do up there. Uh-huh. It's panning up the wall of one of these big sinkholes in the Ozarks. This is Slaughter Sink. Can imagine a mastodon falling off of there? Thunk! Another face that prehistoric animals may have went and came to the edge because they weren't pretty Pretty, weren't very smart. Some of them were pretty stupid, and they'd go on the edge and go thunk. I wonder where you. Yeah. yeah. You might find right under all that uh, debris there. 35, 40 feet below might be the bones of mammoths or mastodons piled up in there, and maybe a ground sloth or two as well. That's uh, uh, who knows what's maybe the bottom of these sinks. The bottom of these sinks, yeah. They, uh, that would be pretty unhealthy falling off of there. Be pretty unhealthy falling off of that, too. I wonder how long it takes to form one of these things. Oh, uh, I'd say a few tens of thousands of years. There's a muck. 
usually Ice Age animals are found in black muck. And there's things in the muck beside just muck. There's no, nice okay, ruby doo. There's oh, and it broke, broke along the bedding plane. Oh yes, and there's the muck. The muck that mammoth muck. I think there was every. I think everything was dead during the ruby doo. Here's a nice example of the muck, the mammoth muck. The dead leaves on the top, grading down into pure muck with some chert class inside, Get possibly some little critters in here. And lots of muck. Worms and... And then worms, yes. Oh, and it smells delectable. And it smells like muck. That's, that's the muck that mammoths and mastodons are found in, found in muck sometimes.